But I think who really impressed this audience was the Egyptian fighter because they always fight him. Okay, Matias is a hard fighter. He I won't stand a chance, but Yoshi really amazing fight. So, big boys again, right? Big boys. Under 91 kilograms. Boxing match number three this evening. The last boxing match of the evening. Actually, it's not Momčilo Nišić, it's Aleksandar Mitodorovic. Yeah, as we all know, in our stations there are cancellations. Last, last week, last day, last hour, so... Yeah, actually, uh, Momčilo Nišić got injured, so Aleksandar Mitodorovic jumped in to replace him. It's 5-2-1, and, one, and these two guys already met each other six months ago when Damir Bello, the opponent of Alexander Mitodorovic, won by TKO body shot. So this guy already so, met six months ago. So they already know each other. Yeah. And to the red corner, Damir Bello, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I had an opportunity to talk previously with yeah, David Bello, David Bello yeah. and he looks amazing, yeah. if I may say. Yeah, he's one of the best boxers uh, coming out from Bosnia and Herzegovina. He's 16 and 0 and he's a WBO Intercontinental Champion. So, 14 of those, of those 16 fights come by the way of KO or TKO. So, it's not likely that we're going to see a decision here. No. It's, Look forward to that. Yeah, he's a third year of age and uh, you see this fight as a step up for maybe some bigger titles. He had a really successful amateur career as well, where he was a captain of the national team for several years. I mean, through the last two days, we can see him really focused and you can see that he's really looking forward to this fight and introducing himself to this audience. Yeah. We can see his supporters here coming from Bosnia on the right side of, of our commentator box and you can actually see his reception here, he's like cold. Oh, he's yeah. like cold, he has a crowd behind him. I think he has already won our audience with this entrance. Yeah. In this corner is one of the leader team of Germany, is Ivan Djakovic, who is as one of the biggest MMA teams coming out from, I think it's from uh, Dusseldorf. Oh, yeah. One of the coaches is a famous star is Gilbert Ivo. Yeah. And the second K1 coach is Stefan Leko. So, a great team. A Definitely great, great team to have it behind it. Lorenzas for the Bosnian fighter. Damir Bello is his nickname is uh, Bombardier Snerete, which it means the bombard man from a river in Bosnia, isn't it? Yeah. He's one meter and eighty eight, uh, exactly as his opponent. And as I mentioned before. This goes for six three-minute rounds, and these guys already met each other six months ago. 
As you mentioned, Damir Belli already won by TKO. Oh, yeah, and uh, let's not forget that Alexander Mitrovic from Serbia step up just two days notice. So it, it takes courage to do that, but oh, oh, absolute respect for yeah. it. Especially know that this guy beat you six months ago. Yeah. By TKO. Well, maybe he's seeing it another way. Okay, I know his opponent. I know what yeah. I'm be, uh, maybe just find be careful a, about. Yeah, maybe find a hole in his game and thinks, yeah, I'm going to exploit it this time. Maybe. The question is what happened before that liver shot, because mm. one liver shot, it's all over. This one went a little bit lower, at least it seems that way, but... I want to see how this is playing out. Great front jab. Serbian fighter. Damir Bedos going for the liver shot again. Yeah, he, he's trying to replay the thing that he's done previously. But you can see already Serbian fighter guarding his limbs. Yeah. He knows what he's paying for. Great combination, head, body. Yeah. He's trying to. Uh, Serbian, player, uh, Serbian fighter is trying to mess up his guard with this front jab, maybe to set it up or something. Yeah. For now, Alexander Mitrodorovic looks, looks really relaxing and like he knows what he's doing. He's not impressed by having such experienced fighters that will on against him. I think it's the option to be mentioned previously. He's o he already knows what is expected from him. He already knows what he's going against. So. Nice combo from Nice combination from Serbian fighter, right? He does look impressed, but he's extremely good at keeping yeah. his livers covered. And he pulls his trousers a bit up too. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little bit lower his yeah. shoulders. <laughs> I think that was his strategy. Put the trousers up as high as you can and you can't and punch out the, yeah, under the belt. Go to low blow he, yeah. if he hits you in the livers. <laughs> Nice combo, it's really fast, Alexander Mitrodorovic, yeah. see what I mean? I, I, I think he's trying to... I, I think that he knows that, he, that his opponent is going for that one big shot and he's trying to use his... I wouldn't say conditioning, but you can see that he's a bit lighter than... Yeah. You know, you, at this point you wouldn't say that they're in the same weight class, but of course there's height and everything. Bellas keep And actually we, we, can, we cannot see... Uh, we cannot see <laughs> the rest of him under yeah. <laughs> these pants that are highly up, so maybe the they are the same way. The bomber from Neretva actually tried to explode that try to, liver. Try to never bomb those bomb livers. the livers, yeah. But yeah, as you said, the Serbian fighter doesn't look phased at all. Lots of body shots here. Yeah, but these these body shots, they are full, full power. They are taking a lot of energy, right? Yeah. I mean, they, they look painful here, but if he covers them, I mean, they're really taking a lot of energy because he's with a full body, full twist. He's good first round. Yeah. I think definitely in the eyes of the judges, we we, we, yeah. we, we, don't, we don't have to think about who. Who won this round? But I mean, Mitrodorovic has a few good moments. I mean, well, I mean, definitely. It he open, it opened himself up, done a few good combos, uh, but I didn't score much. Yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't a decisive round, but uh, I'm curious to see what happens in the later rounds because yeah, I think I think we can see this fight going a bit to the distance, not like the other boxing matches we saw the first or second round. I think this one can be a bit more serious now. Well, all of these matches now, when we thought, okay, we have a the guy and the heavy underdog, we come out surprised. Yeah. I mean, that's good for the audience. Round two is on the way. Any opportunity to give him that liver shot? Yeah. 
really nice combos. Still no exposed Serbian fighter, but the Bosnian fighter has really good combos on him. Well, nice considering, hook, considering yeah. his weight class, his pushing you great tempo and yeah. <laughs> I mean almost every punch that he yeah, but he, he does is with full power. So yeah, but the Bosnian fight with his experience and uh, oh, of course and belts, I I, I think he bring in the nah, uh, longer I rounds and bigger wars than this. <laughs> you know definitely, I mean? definitely. This is a six six uh, six round fight, so for him, I don't think he's. Yeah, I it, think he's it causing many, any, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's causing many any problems. Corner is suggesting the Serbian fighter to go out from the corner with the left hook, left hook, and then the outside. See how Alexander Mitrovic keeps his double back really tight, and it doesn't work at all. I think he wants to tire up. The Bosnian fighter, maybe get his to drop his hands and then go for some combos. <laughs> he knows he's just got two days' notice, so he's not probably he's not in the best shape. Yeah, it is probably not ready for all round war for six rounds, but nice I think big shot here. I think we had an opportunity to see it in the first round. I mean, he was waiting for it and then landed a nice combination. But the question is, how, <laughs> how many of those body shots, even though they're covered, you can take? Oh, nice no, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice one. I think, I think Bosnian fighter didn't expect it because yeah. he's the one that's been aggressive for the entire time. Oh, that's his strategy. You know what I mean, get get him to work his body and then drop his hand, punish oh. him back. I don't think he can push the pace as Pedro is pushing. Oh, well, as you already mentioned, considering that he didn't have enough time to prepare properly, that's a smart thing to do. But he's really trying to score that KO in front of the Dubrovnik audience. I mean, he has 13 KOs out of his belt, so... <laughs> so, 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 so that's like a possibility, yeah? Yeah, from my thinking now, that should be about 78% he will do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Now we'll see what happens later on. Yeah. I just calculated all my digits. <coughs> Nice aggressive. That's what, that's what the bomber from Nerefa needs to watch out. He's really bombing these two rounds ahead. But uh, I, I'm really impressed how Serbian fighter is not phased at all. It's like, okay, nothing happened, but yeah. he... <laughs> he doesn't he work much. Yeah, no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. For my thinking, I think he done four combos in the whole round. Yeah. Is he gonna get more aggressive in the later round? I'm not sure, but... I'm not sure he's prepared for it at this point. Maybe he didn't jump in on late, late notice, maybe, but... Uh, I, I don't know what his strategy is, considering that you need to sustain eight rounds of this. Yeah. We'll see what happens. The Bosnian fighter is definitely breathing heavily than the Serbian fighter. The Serbian fighter is not looking tired at all. Of course, I mean, he has been doing much, but there's a whole point. Uh, we'll yeah. see. Maybe he was trained. Who knows? He's definitely trained. Just yeah. I don't know how, how hard. Yeah. I'm sure they didn't catch him fishing somewhere <laughs> and then bring him over. I'm sure he was in the gym every day, but it's different when you go to the gym and then it's different when you prepare for the fight. But you never know what kind of fish is that he can catch. <laughs> yeah, every day, big tuna. 200, town, 200 <laughs> pound tunas. <laughs> You've seen the fishermen in Dubrovnik. They're bigger than most of the fighters. See, it works more well, this round. I yeah. Guess, yeah. I guess he decided it's gonna work more this round. But That's what I wanna see. I wanna see the fight going both of them pushing this pace. But you see the power of the bomber is like amazing power. Yeah, I mean uh, at this point Serbian fighter tried to open with some combination and as soon as he took that body shot without covering it he he got back to his double deck and his game. But he's trying to now be elusive and use his head movement. 
The only problem is he can only do one mistake. Yeah. With bombs that most of the fighter possesses. It's quite for huge. Oh. What happened? It was a late body shot. Body late shot. reaction to a body shot. Yeah. I think he'll get back. I think he broke his fist, he says to his coach, he broke his uh, yeah. fist. Yeah, I think he broke his fist. This, yeah. this fight is over. This fight is over. This fight is yeah. over. Oh, what a shame. What the a shame. This, this, the this fight, fight just a great opened. fight. Yeah. Yeah. The this fight just opened. What a shame for Serbian fighters. This would have been a great fight in later rounds. This would have been a really great fight. Well, it happens in this kind of sport, so. Yeah. Nothing unexpected, but shame for the audience. This could have been a great fight. Started to be extremely interesting with the pace. The Serbian fighters started to set and yeah. I just want to mention to the audience, we have one more guy, one fight, and then we're going to move to the four MMA matches, which the main event is going to be Valentin Overeem against Ante Delia. The walking trouble against the Python. We're all so looking stay forward tuned, to that. stay tuned, keep watching. Because the big boys are coming. Do you think Alistair is watching this from somewhere? I'm sure he has. <laughs> it's his brother. TKO for Damir Bello. But definitely great respect to the Serbian fighter. Two days notice. Tactics. Yeah, we can see a crowd. Extremely pleased here. It's like he's in his hometown. Great sportsmanship for both of these fighters. I think we're gonna see a third fight from these guys. I don't know if here in Dubrovnik, but third fight definitely here. Yeah. So as you mentioned, as you mentioned Blake, to the blue corner. Lavinot Zekai, Albania. 23 победе, 8 пораза. Lavinot Zekai. Lavinot Zekai is coming from Albania. He has 23 wins with 8 losses.